everyone. This is Chris with Overclockers Club. Today we've got something really cool. This is the brand new Argus from RioLink. Now RioLink makes some really cool cameras and security systems. And if we look over here on the side of the box, it actually gives us a list of some of the things they make. We've got uh, indoor smart home security cameras. We've got 100% wire-free battery-powered cameras, which is what this is. We've got Wi-Fi security camera systems, PoE, which is power over Ethernet security camera systems, and uh, dual band Wi-Fi security cameras, which I have another one of those from uh, Real Link, which uh, we'll share the link to the review on that one also. And they have PoE security cameras and NVRs. So I'm really excited to see this new product from them. Again, it is battery powered and it is Wi-Fi. So as long as you're within the Wi-Fi signal range, you should be able to use this camera pretty much anywhere. And it has a magnetic mount and a base there that we can uh, attach to the wall or a ceiling or again, just about anywhere. It's 1080p. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside the box. All right, we got the box open. The first thing you see here is a cool real link 24 hours video surveillance sticker. Set that off to the side there. We got a couple of these uh, screw templates so you can help locate uh, the mounting provisions there for the camera. And a nice little foam separator. Looking inside here, we got a couple of bags of hardware with our anchors there. If you're going to use a masonry uh, mount into some uh, mortar or uh, concrete there. And we have one of the bases there. We got three mounting holes and we have the adjustment here and the side screw that helps lock it into position. And then we have the magnetic base. Right there, that little guy. See the bottom. And then, of course, since it is battery powered, we have to have some batteries. We have right here. Four batteries, they come all individually packaged. These are the CR123A 3 volt batteries. These things are very common. These are lithium batteries. Very common, easy to find. So if you ever do need a replacement, and then, of course, we have the camera. I'll go ahead and take this out of the bag. And you can see on the bottom, we've got a threaded portion in the center, which is for the, uh, which is for the base mount over here, if you wanted to screw it uh, directly to that. And then, looking at the front, you can see we got the lens. We have our, PR, our PIR sensor, which is basically uh, an infrared or heat uh, sensor. On this side, let me show you here, we have the access for, uh, this is for your uh, SD card. And then there's also a little reset button there. So there's where your SD card goes on the left and there's a little place for a reset. If you ever need to reset the camera. We have a speaker down here at the bottom, so this camera does have the ability to uh, pick up sounds and you can talk to whoever you're looking at with the camera if you need to. So we'll go ahead and get this assembled, get it powered up, and see what it does. All right, now's the time to go ahead and put the batteries in. We turn the unit over here, and at the base, it has a little sort of like a tab or button you push in. It comes with this nice little tool that uh, basically releases the back. So you push this in, and it says open right there uh, on the plastic. Push this in, and that allows the back here to pop off carefully. And then we'll go ahead and put the batteries in. It comes with these four uh, lithium batteries. And We'll close it. You want to make sure you close the, uh, the cover real well. It actually has a little seal along here to make it weatherproof. So you want to make sure you snap that closed. So we'll go ahead and put the batteries in here. And then we will... Camera has been started up. Please run Real Link app. Click the Add New Device button. Well, that's nice. It starts talking to you right off the bat. I'm not sure how well you could hear that. Click the Add New Device button and follow instructions to set up the camera. 
Now I've already got the Real Link app on my camera because I have uh, another Real Link product already. Uh, Please run Real Link app. Click the Add New Device button. Ah. And follow instructions to set up the camera. So apparently it's going to loop through that there until I get it going. We'll peel this off the front here, this little protective layer also, but I'm going to go ahead and get this set up on the app and then we'll show you how it works. And of course one of the really cool things about this camera is since it's wireless and it uses batteries you can mount it anywhere. You can mount it on a tree, you can mount it on a fence, you can mount it on the ground. As long as you got a good wireless signal you're good to go. I decided to use the mechanical base so I've got it mounted up in the corner of the room here. So we'll go ahead and get the camera installed and then we can take a look at some of the video. The Real Link Argus puts peace of mind right in the palm of your hand. Now I mounted this camera in the top corner of the room so I can get a good view of everything that's happening. The built-in PIR sensor will pick up any sort of motion. The built-in microphone will pick up sound. So not only do I get to see what happens, I can also hear it. Then I get a notification sent directly to my phone. It's no surprise that a camera can produce a really good image in total daylight. But when it's dark, that's a completely different story. Now the Real Link Argus uses six infrared LEDs to paint the room with infrared light that only the camera can see, but you can't. So if something goes bump in the night, I'm going to know about it. So let's go ahead and wrap up the review here of the Real Link Argus. Uh, I'm going to read to you directly from the side here. I need to cheat because this is too much to remember off the top of my head. So starting with 100% wire free and battery powered, which is the whole claim to fame here for this little camera. Uh, we have two-way audio, we have 1080p full HD, so that's why we get some really good clear and crisp imaging and video from the camera. Supports months of standby time, so when the camera is idle and not being used, you're not blowing through batteries. Weatherproof design, so you can mount it inside or outside. We have 33 feet of night vision. Uh, we have a smart PIR sensor, which is the sensor on the front of the camera that detects the motion. We have a really nice app for remote access and uh, you get your push notices and notifications anytime there's a motion event from the camera you'll get that notification on your phone which is of course uh, the purpose of having a security camera so you know what's going on now I have to say that this is a battery powered camera so you have to be careful how often you use it you don't want to mount it in an area where there's a lot of traffic and you're going to be getting notifications all the time or that will affect battery life and that goes for any battery power device. The more you use it, the faster you're going to go through the batteries. Now keep in mind Real Link does have a full line of powered cameras. So if you really don't mind running Ethernet or power to it, then uh, you can go that route. But the Argus is really a niche camera. It's made to be used in an area that you just don't have access to. And the convenience of being able to basically stick it up there and use it immediately, really that's, that's what this camera is all about. Now my experience with the Argus has really been positive. It's very easy to set up. You download the app onto your phone, scan in the code, the camera walks you through the steps to get it going so you can be up and running in just a few minutes. The Real Link Argus comes in around $100. You can find it on sale for a little less. I think it's a good value for the feature set that this camera offers. I don't think you can go wrong with it. That's it for the review. This is Chris with Overclockers Club and thanks for watching.